Welcome to Linux Hub Tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to configure MySQL Master Slave for database replication on CentOS 6. For database replication, we need to configure two MySQL servers. One will going to act as master and then other will going to act as slave. So we need to install MySQL packages on both master and slave side and then configure our database with root password and then start the mysql service and then allow the port number 3306 in the ip tables firewall database application is nothing but if you made any changes in the master side will also affect in the slave side here this is my master mysql server here the ip address is 192.168.5.1.0 103 and then this is my slave mysql server here the ip address is 192.168.5.104 before going to configure database replication we need to create the database for replication in both side so log into the mysql database type the command mysql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p now hit enter now type your root password for mysql and then hit enter to get help page you can type help space grant semicolon and hit enter here you can see the command to create database user now first we need to create database so run the command create space database space and give any name for the database and semicolon hit enter next we need to create database user for that you can copy this command and then change the name here this is the name for the database user and give any password here now hit enter and then copy this command and paste it here now here change the database name and then database user now change it and hit enter and now type this command hit enter now you can exit from mysql database type exit hit enter now open the mysql configuration file space slash etc slash my dot cnf now hit enter now here in the mysql d section we need to create some entry now create entry like this here put server id equal to 1 and then this is the database name and then type like this now save the file now restart the mysql service so type service space mysql d space restart next we need to log into mysql database to configure replication for the database and this database user now type mysql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p now type your password now we need to type this command to grant replication a slave for this database user now hit enter and now type this command hit enter now type show databases now choose the database now run this command to log the tables inside this database now type this command to see the status for the master now hit enter here you need to note on the this file name and then position this information we are going to use in this live side will configure in the database application now exit next we are going to take backup for the mysql database in the master side now you can type this command to create backup for mysql database in the master server now type like this and hit enter now type your mysql root password 
now here you can see now the backup is created next we need to copy this backup into this slave server by using a cp command so type scp space file name space root at 192.168.5.104 this is the ip for this slave server now type this path and then hit enter now type the password for the slave server now the database backup is copied to slave server after creating backup log into the mysql now run the command to unlock the tables now type this and then hit enter next we need to move to slave side now open the mysql configuration file now here in the mysql this section we need to create the entry here you can mention the server id equal to 2 and then the same database name now create the entry and save the file now restart mysql service service space mysql d space restart now type ls here you can see the database backup we need to insert this database backup into this mysql slave server now type the command now type command like this and then hit enter now type the mysql root password if you are getting this error means you need to create the same database inside this mysql slave so log into mysql now create database now we can exit now run this command type the password now here you can see this database backup is inserted into this mysql slave now log into mysql now type help space grant now let's create the same database user here also so copy this command and then paste it here now change the username and then password now change it and hit enter and then copy this command and here change the database name and then database user now change it and hit enter now type this command to grant replication for slave now hit enter and now type this command hit enter now we need to type this command here you need to mention the master server IP address and then username and then password and then the information you have noted now type this command and then hit enter now this slave is configured for database replication after running this command next we need to start slave by running the following command now type this command hit enter now the slave is started running if we make any changes in this database in the master side means these changes will also affect in the slave side so let's check it now move to master side now type show databases now choose this database now let's create a table now type this command to create a table called sample now type this command to insert the values into the sample table now hit enter now the values are inserted now type select space star space from space sample here you can see the values are inserted in the sample table now let's move to slave side and check the database replication now move to slave side and then type show databases now choose the database now type show tables here you can see the table 
we have created in the master side now let's check for the values in the tables now here you can see the same values so now the database replication is working fine so you have learned how to configure mysql database replication in centos so that's all for database replication hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching